Hey, what's going on guys? Captain Ron here, back again with another one. So, you got here, and got here rather quick, all the way from China. This take my third generation. So what I have here, as on my left side, I have my Stigma third generation liner. And the only Stigma previous generation that I own is, that, is their round shaders. So we're going to kind of compare them and uh, see what changes they've actually made. And uh, make a, a safe assumption on whether or not you think these are going to be improved or not. So let's start with the bottom here. First is our caps. Now if we look at where... You look at where the um, membrane membrane grabs onto this back cap. We do see a difference. This being our third gen, this being our second. Kind of has more of a lip, probably more surface area for the membrane itself to uh, grab onto, and probably help you know prevent it from spinning. So. A little bit sleeker, thinner. They do clamp in there a little bit nicer. Next um, is our push rod here. So you can see it's square underneath here. All the way through. First, second generation, whatever. Just kind of square at the end. Oh, um, yeah. You look here as well, it's still square. This would be pretty similar. Next is our membrane here. Here on our third generation, we have three beefier riblets versus um, what looks to be a uh, Four smaller ribs, maybe five, one, two, three, four, yeah, five smaller riblets. And they do have a little bit more tension. And um, if you if I were to stand these membranes side by side, and you can still you can kind of see it, but this membrane is a lot shorter. Um, it's a little bit more stout, just a little, a little bit thicker. And uh, we know this is a round shader because our pins are way back here. Our liner pins are up here. Next is our casing. Um, first thing you're going to notice is um, our third, third generation, they got rid of that positioning. That positioning hole. Which I don't know if this is just for the round shaders, but that um, I don't know why in the hell they would get rid of that. Probably just to save plastic. This is all, um, we'll, we'll get to that. And um, this is our third gen. So they got rid of this, you know, positioning slot, which I'm sure does make a difference. And if we look at our housing here, the uh, widths of them, the third generation is a lot thinner housing, a lot thinner plastic. You know, probably again just to save money, cut corners. Um, our, if we were to put our newer tip onto our older housing, it won't fit. This one's too big to fit into our new one, and vice, vice, vice versa, vice versa. If we were to put our older tip into our new housing, it's way too small, won't fit, won't snap in. So yeah, not a whole lot of changes. I don't think, I think what they did was got rid of this inner piece in here. Gave it this plastic square piece to kind of, you know, do, maybe do help it, you know, keep it straight. So cut the plastic out of here. Add a little bit more plastic here to overall use less plastic. Save a little bit more money. And I um, sincerely doubt that these are going to perform any better or, you know, be any stable or more stable than 
they were before, so. And I'll show you this too. <clears throat> this is our previous generation. I'm not going to be able to spin that around because inside here, that positioning hole is keeping it centered. You know what I mean? This one, new third generation. So, <clears throat> honestly, like, there is not much of a difference. This this second gen previous generation is a lot more stable. You know, even with this whole push part being, um, being square, you know? You know, it's the exact same. There's no difference. little to no difference worth um worth buying i don't think so um is it going to affect performance not enough to warrant you know a third new generation no um they probably just did this to save money use less plastic so they can um make more money, have more profit, which is um, kind of a shitty thing to do. You don't want to be, um, you know, don't give these guys your money and expect, you know, to um, expect them to be uh, so much better and all this good stuff. These people, that, this companies like this, they just do this to take money out of your pockets because all they care about is money. You don't care about making a good product so that you can get better, create better work. They're just trying to, you know, get as much money as their pockets as they can and get out. So, I made this video, and I, I, knew, I had a good feeling this was going to happen, but I made this video, took the time, bought these, so you won't have to. You can save your money, save your time. So yeah, guys, third generation. My conclusion uh, is the third generation an improvement over the second. You know, not in the slightest. They took things, you know, they took things from places that needed that they shaved things off of places that didn't need shaving, and added things, you know, to places that didn't need adding. So this is a fine example of, you know, it ain't broke, don't fix it, and. Um, or probably a better one, you know, you can polish it, you can polish a turd, but it's still a turd, so. Alright guys, um, any questions, comments, concerns, just holler at me in the comments below. It's late, I gotta go to bed. And, um, please take the time to, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Alright, peace.